Hey, this is Ryan with One Board Family, and today we're doing a little different of a video. I'm actually gonna take you through the process of building your very own miniature from a company called Eldritch Foundry. Now, they were kind enough to allow us to use their platform to build our own miniature and take you through the process of what that looks like. And in another video, we're gonna actually show you the finished results when it's shipped to us. So, you know, sometimes you can get a game and you'll look at the miniatures and you're like, you know what, that's not exactly Exactly who I want to be, whether you're into role-playing games or whether you're just playing any tabletop game that uh, that could fit a miniature. I know my wife and I, we love playing Clank and just adding miniatures that we've got around the house and putting those as our explorers. So I'm going to take you through the process of building your very own custom miniature from Eldritch Foundry and we'll, we'll explore this tool together. It's a web-based uh, browser tool that you can use uh, to design your own miniature. So let's jump into it and let's create a miniature. All right. So we're going to start off right here. This is uh, where you're going to start off with just a human uh, character that you're going to be able to start from the base. Um, let's look through some of the different races that they're going to see in here. We've got a half elf, we've got an elf, we've got male and female, we've got orcs. Uh, man, there are some good ones. Halflings and Goliath. I'm a pretty, pretty substantial guy sitting at six foot six. Uh, let's see what that looks like to get a Goliath. Oh, that dude's pretty big. So um, let's see. Half orc, goblin. Oh, man. Demon horn. Okay. All right. I don't even know what a quit is. A quit? I don't even... Whoa. Very interesting. I don't even know what that is. It's like a... Like a... Mole rat cat person? Maybe? Something? Something like that? Okay. Let's, uh, let's pick one here. I'm going to go with a... I like elves. Elves are, uh, elves are pretty awesome. So let's go with an elf. All right, there we go. Let, we've got the elf base there. So they call this heritage uh, in here. And then let's look at upper body. So we can actually change the head size. Almost like a chibi figure type of thing going on here. Um, shoulder width. I like that these are all bars that can just be toggled back and forth. Um, let's see. Shoulder width. I've got some broad shoulders. Let's go with broad shoulders. Um, chest. Let's look. Let's go sideways here. All right. I guess you can unlink or link these. Okay. Interesting. Arm mass. I gotta have a sweet swinging arm so I can fight. Oh man. I don't want to be a bodybuilder. I don't necessarily want to be a uh, super swole elf. That's not my deal. Extended upper arm, extended lower, extend upper and lower arm. Okay, so you could actually make them longer. It looks like he is, he's got one arm a little longer than the other. That's fine, I ain't against it. Okay, cool. Let's look at lower body. Uh, I can increase his butt size, which is really what all my miniatures are are missing is an expandable butt size. So I really need to uh, need to focus on that butt size. And, you know, if you want, you have control over each cheek separately. You know, I don't know if, I don't know if that's what you were looking for, but they give you the controls. So uh, leg mass, it's, uh, some, some thicker legs. He's got a good foundation. There we go. I'm fine with that. Uh, I don't think he needs a tail. Let's let's at least check out the tails, though. All right. Oh, that's pretty cool. Hmm. Interesting. All right. I think I'm good without a tail. Let's uh, let's get rid of the tail. So, all right, wings. Um, I'm good without some wings. Well, actually, you know what? These are some pretty sweet wings. Oh my goodness that's pretty amazing i don't know now i think i need some wings 
Ooh. Wow, that is pretty awesome. Hmm. It's a little uh, more maintainable here. You know what? Let's skip the wings. I could even go one wing. Oh, nope. Up, oh, unlink them. One wing. Check that out. Flies uh, kind of lopsided. Maybe it doesn't fly at all. All right, let's go on to the head. I don't want to spend too much time on all of these because I could probably be here for an hour or two. And nobody wants to see me on camera for an hour or two. Uh, let's see, some horns. Let's go an elf with horns. No, I think I'm going to focus on the hair instead. Let's go with, oh man, there's some sweet hairstyles in here. I feel like I'm back on a video game cr designing my, my character. Um, man, got a sweet Bob Ross hairstyle right there. The Bob Ross of the Elven world. Uh, do they have a paintbrush? Maybe. That's pretty cool right there. It's got that sweet braid. Hmm. I don't know. I'm feeling the braid. We could, his head's on fire. Maybe, you know. I like, ah, man, I got to go with that sweet braid. I don't know. I kind of like that. Looks good. Ears look good. I'm, I'm going for it. Okay. Let's go eyebrows. Uh, we could do bushy eyebrows. Uh, I'm fine with his eyebrows. I think I'm good with that. Let's see what he looks like with a little, uh, yeah. Uh, looks evil there. I'm not going for an evil elf here. All right, let's go eyes. Ooh. Whoa, bug eyes. I don't even know what's happening with those eyes. Let's just go regular eyeballs. I feel good about that. Ears, I like his ears. Um, Got to have a beard. You know, what kind of what kind of fighter doesn't have a beard or a sweet mustache? Look at that. Man. Lifting some dumbbells, you know. Uh, that's pretty sweet right there. Like a Western elf hybrid. Go with a little Moses beard there. Mm. I like that. I like that. It's looking good. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go there. Settling on a beard that's maintainable. Because when you're out there fighting, you don't want your get beard getting tied up in things. You don't want to get shut in the car door or, you know, cut off by somebody's blade. Okay, how happy is this? Oh, he's super. Oh, look at how happy he is. Can you be happy and angry at the same time? Maybe a... Oh. Okay, he's got to be a little angry. Let's create a backstory here. Somebody, somebody killed a family member of his. You know? Okay, I'm good with that. That expression. All right, what are we doing here? Oh, man, I have control over each eyebrow. Ooh, snap. Okay, uh, let's uh, do a little bit of the rock here. Uh, let's let's raise one of the eyebrows. I don't want it to be too drastic. Let's lower another. Yeah, I think that's good. So let's see. It looks pretty good. It's kind of like, what are you talking to me? All right. Yeah, I think that's good. Hmm. Brow rotate, brow puff. I guess that's how puffy his eyebrows are. Whoa. Okay. I think I'm going to leave these the way they are. If you play around with this tool, you can you can make your eyebrows as puffy as you'd like. Actually, yeah, I think I'm I'm going to lower the eyebrow puff. I don't know if that's a medical term, maybe. All right, eye socket. I'm I'm pretty happy with all these. Eye socket height. This is ridiculous. Actually, I'm gonna increase the eye socket height. Yeah, I think that looks good. Kind of worried about. I don't know if that's a shadow. Yeah, that's a shadow. Man, it's looking pretty a little aggressive, which is fine. All right, size of the ears. I'm fine with the size of the ears. Yeah, we're good. All right, let's go with a nose. Nose size. Oh, it's a little big. 
nose length. No. Nose height, nose bridge. Let's decrease that bridge a little. It looks like his nose was broken a couple times. A couple too, too many hits to the face. I think that's a little better. Uh, bridge shape. Oh, snap. Really broken. Well, let's just go a little out. Yeah, that looks good. Cheekbones. Cheek, cheekbones look good. Jawline, not really necessary since the beard is covering up his jawline. And chin is fine. Let's get on to the clothing. All right, what are we doing? We're in our underwear right now. Let's see, what do we have here? Oh, farmer elf. Little peasant elf. What are we doing here? Okay, looks like an aviator maybe? Hmm. Okay, this is uh, SWAT Team Elf. Oh, okay, okay. He's dancing in a burlesque show. That's not bad. That's pretty cool. I'm digging that. How many... Okay, so these are complete... Okay, I see. You've got these complete outfits, and then you can actually swap out the different pieces, it looks like. He's not that much of a warrior. Okay. All right, let's start here. Let's go with this one. Let's see what happens. All right, neck. Uh, do we want a scar for uh, some beads? I'm looking a little, little too much like a Street Fighter character to me. Oh. That's a lot of fuzz, fur, and hair. I think I'm going to skip that one. Maybe a nice little uh, towel. Just got done at the gym. Maybe, uh, maybe getting ready to hit that elliptical, you know? Never know. I think I'm going to skip. Let's skip that one. All right, helmet. I don't want to cover up a sweet beard. I don't want to... Oh, cloak. Hmm. Can't have the hair sticking out, though. That's pretty cool. Got a wolf. Ah, wizard. Hmm. I think I'm going to skip a hat. I do like the Plague Doctor mask, though. You've got a lot of good stuff in here. Let's see. Oh, snap! It's a pumpkin head! Huge fan of Halloween. Love all the Halloween everything. I could definitely get down with this. I might need to create two of these. Mm. Another straw hat. Kind of like it. Good old police officer elf man. Okay, shoulders, let's see. I, I do like the wolf thing going on. That's real, got a lot of fur going going on there. Maybe something a little less eccentric. That's not bad. Kind of matches the rest of uh, rest of the feel here. I could, I could get down with that. Got some good options. They've got, got some birds. Yeah. Those aren't bad. Mm, I got to go back with that original one. Uh, let's see. All right. Let's go back over here. I kind of like that. Looks good. Still showing off the guns. All right. Let's go to torso. Got this. Uh, oh, let's see what we have here. Mm, okay. A little vest going on. Just using a tank top. Just tank top. Real casual. Going to these dungeons, real cash. Hmm. Oh man, I'm a sucker for trench coats. Look at that. I don't even know. Suspenders. Just suspenders. I don't even need armor. Hit me. Hit me right in the chest. He's asking for it. That's what he's saying. Mm, some plating there. Ready for winter. You know, maybe... Uh, Maybe a little Antarctica situation. Ah, bone. Can't beat that. It's that skeleton he killed. Ah, or just a bra. Okay. That works. Um, let's go. You know what? He's he's a humble guy. He's just got his vest. He's uh, working in... I don't even know what he's working in. But he, he's been doing it all day. He just slapped on his armor. He's ready to go into battle. Let's go with that. I like it. Actually, now I want to take off the shoulder pads. Mm. Yeah. 
I'm feeling it. Okay. This guy, very, very blue collar worker. He's, uh, okay. Let's go with gloves here. Got to have some gloves. Hmm. Oh man, what are these? I like that. There's so many options. I feel like I'm in a toy store here. You ever get to dinner and you look at the menu and there's like 500 things on it? You're like, I, I don't know. I thought I knew, but I don't. That's where I'm at. Man, I don't know. I like... There we go. That's real low key. You know, just a little padding just in case you get real punchy. Let's, let's just go with some hand wraps. You know what? Let's just go with one hand wrap. He punches with his uh, punches with his right hand a lot. Let's say, up. Oh, that's his. Yep, punches with his right hand a whole bunch. So let's just uh, do a hand wrap on there. Up, oh, clear that one. Okay, there you go. One hand wrap. I like it. I like it. Got to get to the pants. I think he's gonna do some armor. He's half. He's half into this thing. He's. Uh, He's definitely feeling like he's going to fight someone, but he was working. He got off of work a couple minutes early, going into the dungeon. All right. Didn't have time to fully get ready. Hmm. Do you like the one leg brace thing going on here? Tons of leg options. Um, let's go... You know what? Kind of digging the beads, the sash. All right, let's go with that. Do we need a cape? I feel like he's not really a cape guy. He's not royalty. He's just working, doing his thing. Let's go with the boots. I kind of like those boots. Uh, do I want anything else? Some fuzzy boots. Hmm. Plain. Okay. You can see they've got a lot of options here. Uh, maybe he doesn't have boots on at all. He's walking around barefoot. Kind of disgusting, actually. Ooh, those are a little massive. Some army boots. I could definitely see using this tool to create something modern, uh, a modern character, or creating something that is um, historical, something that is fantasy-driven. There's lots of steampunk options in here. I like it. This guy's going to be all over the place. It's going to have influences from everywhere. All right, let's go. I actually like the first option. I think it was something like that was it right there. I actually like that. Okay, so I'm feeling this. All right, I don't think he needs eyewear. I think we're good. Let's go ahead and give him something. We've got choices of axes, uh, an axe ranged uh, chain, chained dynamic. Interesting. Dynamic chain swinging moving weapon. Okay. Or fixed pose. Okay. Chain static. We've got a dagger. We've got some blades. Bludgeon. Oh, man. Is it just going to hit somebody with this thing? Okay, you can put it in either hand. He's just got a baseball bat. Let's go in town on some fools. Miscellaneous, ah, he could have a gift. Oh, nope. Or he can't have a gift. Something went wrong. Oh, something went wrong again. A box of chocolates. Oh, maybe this isn't meant for me. Actually, if I was doing a Bob Ross mini, there's some painting. There's some painting tools. That's interesting. Oh, you know what? I think I need to remove... This is a two-hand, double-handed paintbrush? Oh, okay. He's got a big painting to do. Mm, okay. Magic focus. Okay. We've got some spell books, some wands. Man, there are so many. Or do I just go with tools? He's a uh, two-handed axe. Let's say double-handed. Man, that axe is huge. Hmm. I don't know. Just a frying pan. He's a short order chef. Got off work. Kill a dragon with it. 
ranged. I feel like I gotta go. Uh, I gotta go ranged. We got an elf here. Let's go traditional. Oh man, I gotta take that. Uh, <laughs> take out the frying pan. Okay. All right, ranged. That crossbow is pretty cool. Um, let's see. That is a giant bow. I think he could roll with it. All right, let's go with the bow and then let's start working on some back items. What's this? Musical instruments, containers. Okay, miscellaneous. Man, we have got some legit stuff here. All right, he, he's got to have a backup weapon, I guess. Hmm. Wow. He is real equipped. Axes. I think axes is where it's at. He's ready. All right. So let's go with side items. Side items. Uh, obviously, we need some arrows. We've got to get some arrows. What is he? Oh, man. he's He's got some money in hand. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, okay, it's on the side of him. Okay, it's on the side of his bag. Got some potions. Man, I'm worried. He, this dude's not going to be able to move once I put all this stuff on him. Okay. Hmm. He doesn't actually have any arrows. That's a problem. Maybe he's just got to find them as he goes. Okay, let's work on poses here. All right. Let's see. Preset. Let's look at the presets. Okay. This guy's fist up in anger. Let's see. Oh, man, he's ready to throw down. Look at that. What is happening? I feel like his head looks a little wonky. Mm. Common stance. All right, I'm going to chuck something. kind of like that. Let's do this. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. That's pretty menacing right there. He's looking down. Oh. See, this is what's so cool because I could see having the same character and then actually going through here, putting three different poses, ordering all three miniatures and racking up a huge bill. And then my wife asking, <laughs> what's the deal? All right. So this is the one where he got shot in the knee with the arrow. Yeah. All right. So... I feel like that's a good start. Let's move around some arms and stuff. Let's see. His head. I kind of like his head looking the way that it does. Let's move some things around here. So I like how it's, it's showing the spine. You're going to be able to move this around by clicking. Uh, let me move in a little. I think I can move in. Oh. Yeah. I think there we go. So let's see. Okay, so I'm going to be able to move. Okay, each of these points right here, you're going to be able to bend and twist them. I want to make sure of a couple things. I don't want his braid getting too jacked up in the process. I feel like I like the right way he's looking. Let's move his head up a little. There we go. Just a little. Don't want it too. There we go. He's looking pretty straight ahead. Still angry. Okay. Let's go with body. Uh, I'm good with his body. He's got a little bit of a hunch to him. I dig that. I've got to move that arm though. He's uh, he's ready to hit hit somebody. All right. Let's see. Let's go with arms. Okay. This is the left arm, right arm. Let's go with right. Actually, I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move this arm around a little. Let's get this tilt. Uh, okay. Bend. All right. I like that. Let's do elbow. I think that's where I need to move it. So, this is the bend of the elbow. Okay. That's what I'm wanting right there. A little more action. He's about to pull it up and draw that bow. He's ready to go. All right, upper arm. Let's see, do I want this moved a little? Yeah, just a little. 
that looks good. Okay. Zoom out a little. Make sure. Uh, make sure this is what I want. No. Okay. Yep. That's good. All right. So let's go with the right arm and let's move that elbow up. I want it to bend a little more. So let's get that upper arm twist. Now I could definitely see where you could twist and bend these parts into uh, some really weird positions where the the figure may look really unnatural. Um, so you kind of have to watch that. But I love that you can get this to be whatever you want it to be. I like that. Okay. It's away from his uh, the potions that are on his side. I like that. All right. Items. Let's see. The items. Let's twist. Oh, okay. So I can actually turn these slightly a little motion to them. I'm actually fine with that right there. Back axes. I think they're good. Uh, just want to check the hair situation going on back there. Uh, yeah, I'm good with that. Okay. All right. I feel like I'm good with the, um, you know what? Have I looked at the legs? I don't think I can do anything with the legs. I guess that's the original pose. You kind of, yeah. Arms, hair, body. Okay, yeah. I think I'm solid with those. Let's go with the base. All right, base. Let's check this stuff out. We've got some wooden boards. Uh, I like that. Hmm. Okay. It's got some decorations around the sides of it. I like that. Um, conditional. Okay, conditional or round. I like the round better. I kind of like that. The broken, uh, broken concrete, just a circular. Hmm. All right. I think I'm going with this broken concrete look right here. I like that. Uh, we can do a square or a hex. I think I want to go with a hex. Give him a little more space for his feet there. Feel like I've got other ones that have hexes, so let's do that. Base items, I like this. Okay, obviously he's a football player. You know, we we've we've inferred that from his look. Um, obviously, really into the pigskin. Oh man, coming back at me with the with the pumpkin. Okay, yeah, I like this. Okay, I've got to go with this. We've got some, we've got some like gem, some kind of, uh, I don't even know what that is. Some kind of gem thing coming out of the ground. We've got a tiny snowman. If you want to, want to have a snow version, really super into soccer, obviously. So, all right, let's go with the gems. He's defending whatever mineral he just found. All right. I'm sure some somebody who's super into D and D is looking at me and saying this stupid idiot uh, calling this thing by the wrong name. I totally get it. Let's name this guy. Um, I have nothing creative on me right now. Um, um, it's a weekday. I've got nothing. Uh, let's. Uh, I'm just gonna name. I'm just gonna name Jim. It's Jim. That's it for right now. I'll go back and name them later. But uh, let's go ahead and save this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to check out through Eldritch Foundry and go ahead and order this character. Let's see what this looks like when it comes in, and I'll be happy to share it with you all. Again, that's Eldritch Foundry. You can find them online. Look in the show notes. Look below this video, and you're going to be able to see a link uh, to head over there and check it out. So uh, if you want your own miniature, you can go check that out today, and uh, I'll update this video when, when uh, we have the miniature itself. So check back soon, and until next time, we'll see you at the table.